Let's talk about Deadpool, which is coming Deadpool. out uh, this week. This Friday. Yeah, yeah. Intercept the convoy. Watch out for cable. Hit it. Did you like Deadpool? Is it better than the first one? I liked it... the first Deadpool. Uh, the first Deadpool was a. I was probably high on it more than other people. Um, it yeah. was it was a five star movie for me. I love the way it circum. Oh, wow. It was a. Yeah. It, I love the way it circumvented and kind of um, yeah. screwed around with the comic book film. You know formula and all yeah, that yeah, yeah. even though it still ended up being a comic book film with villains and, and endings and, and compel you know it wasn't swirling balls of fire in the sky or anything but it still turned into a comic book film but i like the way it it threw all that in the face and did it with style yeah um the second one is it's good but it is not yeah. as good as the first Ooh. okay okay fine again but not as good as the first. does it does it overstay its welcome yes. is it ah okay i think this is a situation where once you get more budget and a bunch of success yeah that um when that happens you feel like you have to make everything that you did before better and bigger and yeah probably a little longer you see deadpool in glorious <laughs> Larger than life IMAX, because bigger <laughs> is better. Well, that's precious. I don't know. It feels like every action sequence or comedy joke or beat just hangs around a little too long when it could have been tighter. You know, I don't know if that's. I don't think that's the writing. I think the same, the same writers are here, and actually Ryan Reynolds gets a writing credit on this to go with the two original writers. Yeah. Uh, maybe this is a thing for the director. Where um, they didn't yell "cut" early enough a few times. Where um, I don't know. It, it's not. It's not overinflated sequel garbage. Where we've seen. Yeah. Uh, where we've seen sequels take something that meant was supposed to be small and supposed to be tight, and then really blow it up too big. <laughs> where this was already kind of blown up and too big. Now it's just blown up and big, blown up and made right. more bigger. Like too many references? So dark. You sure you're not from the DC universe? Or... No, see, all of that is kind of the strength of the first film, and it's, yeah, and it's yeah. still the backbone of this film. Or I think I know what you mean. It's it's the length, probably, too. It is longer. Yeah. You know? um, it, yeah, everything just kind of hangs around just a beat or two longer. Yeah. Too long in many places, and by the time five or six beats go too long, now the whole movie's fifteen minutes too long. Yeah, because you know, like that's the problem with comedy is like yeah. you can only laugh for so long, and then you're just like, <sighs> move or die. Pump the hate breaks, Thanos. How was Cable in it? That's what helps the most. If, yeah. um, and I hate to say it, this is Josh Brolin being the MVP of two films in a row. Where. Wow. Um, where it helps, like um, I know Ryan, this is still Ryan Reynolds front and center, like he's supposed to be. And yeah, he, yeah. It's still electric Ryan Reynolds, born to play this part because of the motor mouth that he is. Yeah. <laughs> but Bro, but Brolin comes in and plays this really good straight man who takes no <laughs> and pushes right back and is and is a, just an indomitable brute that helps just beat <laughs> out of the movie. And the movie needed kind of a, a you know that ass spanking of hey hey no no no. Get get the f going, you know. Like, yeah. don't be don't be so slap happy all the time. Let's go, you know. So, yeah, yeah. Um, Brolin pushes that agenda, and it helps. Uh -huh. um, it it makes Brolin's char straight character the butt of a few jokes, but it yeah, it, it, you know, of course. But he still You're won't take dark. Shit you for must it. be from the DC universe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all that stuff is still there, and he gets called Thanos, and all the things you see in the preview. And all <laughs> yeah, that. that's so, right. That's true. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. no, um, Brolin takes it in really. Flexes, flexes some good muscle in that spot. Yeah, yeah. He's, good. he's, he's quite he's literally, good. yeah. <laughs> For the comic book fans, though, don't expect this to be a very canon origin of Cable. He kind of, he's the time traveling soldier, but we're not going Nathan Summers. We're not going Cyclops and Gene quite yet. Okay. We're not okay. playing that. And, um, and, and Deadpool kind of ends up kind of being a bit of an X Men trainee. Yeah. Like a fake jersey and all. So Colossus is kind of a bit of a. De facto extra leader here a little bit. Okay. If there's a scene stealer in this movie, it's Domino. She's a lot like Tessa Thompson was in Thor Ragnarok, where she's yeah, kind yeah. of this along the side badass female character who lives up to being a badass and in her scenes just really, really seals it. Really, just they give her a great platform to be this really cool side character you like to see more of. Oh, that's awesome. She's yeah. good. She's so, really would you recommend Deadpool too? Yeah, I still would. I mean, um, yeah. just because it's not as good as the first one doesn't mean it's not fun. It's still a damn damn bit of fun. Uh, good humor, good stuff. The first film set out to be an anti-comic book movie that still ended up being a comic book movie. So yeah. no matter how much it makes fun of comic book movies, it's kind of doomed to still become a comic book it's movie. It's doomed to be itself. It's yeah. doomed to be itself. 
Deadpool 2, if anything, is now this... Now it's very apparent. It's become itself. Like, it, it, this is a straight-up yeah. comic book film that just happens to still have the self-referential jokes and the ability to make fun of itself and the R-rated stuff. But it's gone full comic book movie. Like, we're back, and it's just a matter of time before this plugs into... The, the you know the the Brian Singer Simon Kinberg X Men universe. Like, oh no! It's a matter of time. Oh no! It's a matter of time. Numbing. So if there's a place where we Deadpool, need this D. <laughs> so if there's a place where Deadpool fits in to fill the void, is that nothing about Deadpool is the swirling ball of big villain in the sky. It's yeah. it's a smaller story with smaller characters that can be compelling on its own without needing to be. Yeah. The Slug Mansion, the Grudge Mansion, the Blockbuster. Because like, it, 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 it's, it's just, it, Cable shows up for this one kid that they're trying to kind of reform and save. Yeah. My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. What? The kid? And that's it. There's not a big baddie and a big thing. Yeah, because, I mean, with 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 uh, Deadpool, I think it only works for like maybe one or two movies for three movies. It's... The third film I hear is straight up X-Force. Oh, okay. Our group will be forward thinking. Gender neutral. We will be known as X Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Wait, well, do you want to see Deadpool? Is it high on your list? Yeah, I want to see Deadpool because I like the first one and I just think, you know what? I, I know it's kind of just using the same formula. I think it only works for mm -hmm. two movies. It's not going to work for three. Yeah. I guess if they make it a team movie, then sure, that, that could work. That's what, but, that's what helps in this film. Like yeah. the addition of Cable and Domino make. The pressure, you don't have to put everything on Ryan Reynolds. It yeah, helps. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, Deadpool was sort of like a good comedy. Yeah. And this will work for two comedies, but again, it, it, hopefully this doesn't have Spider-Man 3 syndrome. Where, no. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, so, like, this isn't, like, this movie being Spider-Man 3, well, like, and then the third like, one you know, where it has just, like, too many characters? No, no, no. Okay. We're it's safe just, on that. It's just bigger, that. but yeah. it's, like, it's it's kind of charming as being a yeah. smaller, tighter hour and a half film rather than like a two hour yeah. film last yeah. teaser i'll give you there's a opponent that yeah. is very well hidden in the marketing that you don't know is coming that's okay. awesome when he shows up and last but not least peter any power you want to tell us about i don't i don't have one um i, I just saw the ad you're in <laughs> Thank you, Don, for coming on. Thanks for having me. See you next time. <laughs> yeah. You'll probably agree. Yeah. And uh, every movie has a lesson. Look at us trade yeah, spots exactly. and get this right. There you go. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. And uh, we'll see you later. X go give it to you. Wait for you to get it on your own. X go deliver to you. Knock, knock. Open up the door. It's real.